What is up guys, Light here and welcome to another channel update for March um, slash I guess this will be considered an April update as well because of the situation I'm in right now. First things first, the first update that I had did it was like two weeks ago. I mentioned I was getting my whistle teeth done which I did. Um, painful experience. I, I would suggest anybody who's around 18 years of age to get them done just go to a dentist have your mommy and daddy like take you to a, a surgeon or whatever no go to the dentist tell them that you know you would like to get the procedure done the sooner you do it the better for you because you don't want to be like me where the surgeon had like this hard time in trying to even remove the ones in my jaw and that motherfucker hurt. So, yeah, for a week I was un really not really able to talk for the first couple of days. I would say maybe until the fourth day I was kind of able to talk. But even then, my mouth was not able to, like, really open. So, for the past, like, for the first like couple of days, it was just, I was living off just mashed potatoes, um, mac and cheese, and Jello. There, there was nothing else until eventually my mom decided, you know, let's put in some eggs and some beans on that, on that list, which was great, you know, because that that was more nutrition. But obviously, whenever she made food, she had to like try to figure out something for me and it wasn't really cool because eventually I went to smelling all the food that they were eating and looking at what they were eating you know giving the puppy dog eyes yeah it, it you know it, it wasn't the best feeling ever to this day I mean it's been two weeks now um my right jaw from where the you know the wisdom tooth was um still kind of hurts Obviously, because, you know, I move more with my right face than I do with my left. So, you know, the, um, what, what is it called? The stitch. The stitching that's there, it, you know, it's, like, kind of expanding and, like, you know, I don't want to say in the verge of breaking, but, you know, it, it is expanding and it is causing discomfort. So it like it's always there as a reminder, like Psim. it's like stop. It's like oh fuck, my jaw hurts. Um, like right now it's kind of hurting because I'm like making facial expressions and whatnot. But yeah, now I'm slowly eating softer food. Like I've got back into eating croissants. Um, I'm eating some ham. Um, and I'm getting, you know, back into being hungry. Well, I've always been hungry since, you know, the whole situation. Because you don't really get full with all that food, you know, with that limited food. I mean, obviously you could eat, like, uh, what, what was it? Apple sauce. But well, I'm not interested in that kind of life. Um, there's that and a, a couple other things, you know, like soft baby shit and I wasn't interested in that I just wanted real food and to this day I still can't really eat real food like right now I'm dying to eat Chipotle I had McDonald's yesterday and I wasn't really interested with it because I couldn't really like dunk the damn chicken nuggets that I like to eat and just throw it in my mouth and just munch on it like some sort of barbarian so I didn't enjoy it, um, cause the chicken nugget was kind of like not soft enough for my teeth, my front teeth to like really sink in. Cause I I've been so conscious about using the teeth on the side to really do the chewing because I'm afraid to having food going the back of where the surgery is. So yeah, there's that. So that's that's beside the point. Um. The real concept for this channel update, um, 
is in regards to a situation uh, a situation sorry a situation that has befallen upon me this past week um my mom is in the hospital and she hasn't been feeling right and you know since she has asthma things have just gotten worse for her for the past couple of days and to the point that she nearly died the other day because she had no oxygen in her body um luckily my dad had you know at the time like this is what happened friday they you know he took her to a doctor somewhere in jersey like kind of close by but at the same time not really um so they could help her out and all they did was just pop her some pills go home the next day being tuesday you know they went to another doctor because she was having a little issue with breathing again they did help her they did whatever they could and you know they sent her home she was feeling a little better around sunday afternoon slash evening she was just getting worse because not only that she had a cold um slash phlegm in her lungs and she was trying to like puke out but she, you know because of the puking out and all that it was causing her to like lose oxygen so while we were watching you know where we were ha all having like a family time and watching the walking dead my dad took her to the you know somewhere in um westchester to um to a clinic and you know while he was driving apparently she was dying he my dad didn't know it Apparently she was dying in the car ride until the doctor, you know, they took her to the emergency and all that. And they noticed her lips were blue. And they're like, you're, you know, I guess the doctor was somewhat calling my dad an idiot. Um, telling him that, you know, my mom could have died in the car. That they, that we should have called an ambulance and all that other stuff. And it is what it is. Um, so I haven't seen, like, I, I shouldn't say I haven't seen my mom since that. Saturday or Sunday uh, which is was or is the 20th I'm going to try posting this video as quickly as possible um, so she hasn't been home for the past couple of days so I've rather than me taking this time to really go around and playing video games and whatnot, I just haven't been in the moon I've I haven't even touched my computer like like I haven't been touching my computer at all whatsoever. I've been so fucking depressed and so anxious about this whole situation that I I've been doing nothing but staying home and like and crying. I'm not going to lie. I've been crying for the past couple of days cuz you know, obviously, it's, it's my mom, you know. I'm trying to not to cry on camera. Because this whole entire situation is getting into my head. And and right now, I, I'm not going to lie. It, like, this whole situation has opened my eyes and, and telling me, you know what? You really need to spend more time with your mom. You need you need to stop being a bitch to your mom. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I have been a bitch with my mom, not 100% all the time. You know, little things here and there. Yes, I will be a bitch with her. Other than that, I try to like compromise little things here and there with her. You know, I I'm not a perfect child. I am not a perfect daughter, and and it sucks. But you know, I, I I'm I'm doing me. You know. And, and you know so all of this situation has just made me realize how much my mom really means to me and you know that I really need to appreciate her and um and all these other things like legit the same day that she went to the hospital the first time on Friday the 18th I got 
wait, the next day on Saturday, I had gotten sick. I I'm sick with a cold. Like, literally, I have, like, a box of tissues next to me and all that. Like, I have a box of tissues in my bed. Like, just in case if, you know, I have an accident with my nose. <laughs> um, as disgusting as that sounds, you know, I, I gotta be prepared. You know, you never know. I could be, like, coughing so hard that mucus decides to pop out of my nose. As disgusting as that sounds. And, um, yeah. So, there, there's that. So my mom hasn't been in the greatest condition right now. She, Like I said, she has asthma. She has for a good, good couple of years now. I should say a couple, like, uh, for a while now. She didn't, she didn't, like, she wound up getting it sometime in her life. And it just got worse since we moved up to where I am living now. Because before, you know, I lived in the city. And, um, obviously there's no trees or any of that other stuff. It's just a bunch of buildings and a bunch of fucking cars causing pollution and all that stuff. So things weren't too bad. She was going to the doctor and all that, but not constantly. Ever since I moved to an environment that has a bunch of trees and shit and, you know, pollen and all that other bullshit, that's been contributing to her asthma. And... You know, most of the time, that is the reason why whenever I, you know, since moving up here, whenever I'm extremely delayed with videos, I'm not going to say it's because of her, but yeah, it is because of her. Because, like, she knows I do YouTube stuff, but she does not know the whole production of what it is to do these videos. And, um... Yeah, most likely if she were to to know, she would like tell me to hush down or stop cursing. Oh my god, why are you cursing all all your videos, you know? Um I, I, like I said, like I said before, I'm just doing me, you know? I want to feel free to say what I want in this channel, you know? Of course, certain things I would not say in this channel, such as like politics or all, all these other things, unless I feel the need to do it, then yeah, I'll possibly do it. But I'm going to avoid the shit out of doing it because I know how people feel about it. Um, other than that, it's like I, I'm going through a rough time right now. So I don't know when will be an actual video aside from updates. But rest assured, um, there will be soon hopefully um I I'm trying to get this whole mom situation being situated um I'm trying to visit her as much as I can I literally just saw her yesterday which is the first time in since Sunday um so yeah so from what I was told I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently we will be having like a nurse monitoring her with a oxygen cha uh, oh, oxygen tank. My God, um, and all that other stuff. I I don't know if it's true or not. So once I find out, I will definitely like. You know what you guys need to do. You guys need to hit me up on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, you know what? Ho hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Because, like, those of you who got Twitter, man, you guys need to, like, follow me up on this. Because th this is getting kind of ridiculous. I need, I need a way to contact you guys or inform you guys of things. I I'm more active on Twitter than I am on Facebook. Uh, it it's a sad thing because... I'm always on Facebook, but I'm never really active on my page. So, hold on. Text. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. We're going to change this font. We're going to change the font color. <coughs> to a that kind of purple, I guess. Uh, 
What the fuck is you? Oh shit. Uh, pu -pu 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 -pu. Where are we? Where's the text? I. There you are. Okay, we're gonna make this fucker bald. We're gonna make him. How you? Oh shit. How do I lower the size? Okay, wait. How do I make it small? Dude, how do I make it small? Style. No, seriously, how do I make this model? Oh. There. I, I know how to make it small. Hold on. I'm such a fucking idiot. Hold on. Where, where's the fucking Twitter logo? Hold on, people. I, I didn't expect that I would do this. So it's like, I gotta find every where everything is at. Uh, where are we? Uh, where are we? to be in here. Uh. Text. Hold on. We're going to make this thick. We're gonna make. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Um. I don't. Maybe if I leave it like that. Okay. Follow me. Follow me on this, guys. Follow me on that exact thing. You know what? I will leave it in the description as well for you guys to follow, okay? But you know what? If you want to pause the video and just type or just even look for the rising light, you will find me. I, I shut you now. You will find this is what exactly what you will see on my thing. Hold on. Just in case you find like some other motherfucker with my name you will see this okay hold on you know what let let's let let's let's fix this up because we're we're going to do it like this how about this there you go this looks much more professional There you go. So, find me at the Rising Light, and you will definitely get updates. Like, when was it? The last tweet I did was like two days ago. Yeah, that you know, that was two days ago. I haven't been really in the mood to really be on social media. Um, but follow me on that. I, I'm more active on this than I am with Facebook. So anybody who followed me on Facebook, stay there. Because for time to time I do update with that, but I'm not more active with that. I am more active with Twitter. So keep an eye on Twitter. I'm like I said, I'm more active with Twitter than I am with with um with Facebook. So yeah, there's that. So there's my situation with that. I, I will keep like I said, I will keep you guys updated either via YouTube or via Twitter. I will keep you updated between the two, okay? Not with Facebook, because I'm barely like I'm barely using that page. Um, I even forget that I have that page until I look at my my actual Facebook, and I'm like, oh shit, I actually have that. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's that. Um, so.
So there's the situation with that. I don't know what the whole situation with the nurse thing will happen, but I, like I said, I will definitely keep you guys updated with that. Um, I'm trying not to talk too much about my mom, cause you know I I just don't want to cry. I I cried a whole bunch of times today. I just don't want to cry even more. So there's that. Um, so I don't know what will be the situation with my channel during that time. Like I said, follow me on Twitter. I, I keep more active on that than I am with Facebook. Okay, so Twitter. Um, one thing I wanted to show you guys, I promised you guys I was going to, well, I did tell you guys I was going to get something and I winded up getting it and it was a pain in the ass. Now, as you can see on this picture right here, that is the FedEx screenshot of Dead or Alive Extreme 3. So I bought the game. I'm getting it apparently on Monday. And they say apparently at 10 in the morning, I call bullshit because FedEx is always fucking me in the ass. Every single time I order something and it comes through FedEx, I get it until like not even 8 o'clock at night. I, I don't get that shit until maybe 8 o'clock at night. So I don't know if this is accurate. I doubt it. Um... <coughs> And, um, all that other stuff. So, I do have Dead or Alive Extreme 3 coming. And I'm definitely going to try to play it. Um, as much as I don't want to really play anything right now. I, I want to see how the situation with my mom is. And I want to visit her as much as I can. Today, my dad didn't want me to go. Just for the fact that, one, I'm sick. Two, I got work in the morning. So, he doesn't want me tired. Um... Yeah, so there's that. There's uh, another game that I bought recently. Hold on. Please tell me I grabbed the right one this time. No, I did not. I had made a previous video to this, and it was way too long. I think it was like an hour and change long. And I don't want you guys to sit through all the me nearly crying. And I had a bug in my room in the middle of my recording. I had like some sort of like cicada or some shit. I don't know. And it landed on my keyboard. And I smash, I Hulk smash that shit, and it, it rested peace bug. Yeah. Um. So I did buy a, a game on Tuesday, and it was a game that I said I wanted to play and all that other stuff. Winded up getting it, um, because my sister's boyfriend's parents invited us, me and my sister, to go have dinner because they know of the situation, and um. You know, luckily we were next to a GameStop and, you know, my sister's boyfriend, we, you know, we were talking and all of a sudden, um, The Last of Us popped in his mouth and, um, I'm like, oh, I've always wanted to play that game, you know. It always looked like a great game. It looked like a kind of game that I would get myself into. You know? Something that reminds me of, like, Metal Gear, but a little more, you know? It's like, yeah, you should get it and all that stuff. And he's like, and then, you know, eventually... When we were done with dinner, do you want to go to GameStop? I'm like, yeah. So we decided to go to GameStop. My only quest for GameStop was getting me a fight pad. Because I've only been playing on this for Street Fighter V. And it feels kind of weird. Um, it could be because when I was on Comic-Con, at Comic-Con, I played with a stick. And it was the first time playing with a stick. And it felt kind of cool. But I don't have that kind of money to be buying a stick so my next option is a fight pad so I thought they would have the fight pad they didn't have the fight pad <coughs> <coughs> so it was a huge disappointment um so then I winded up almost grabbing um what was it until dawn and he was like wait that wasn't the game that you say you want to play I'm like, what was it again? And because my mind has been spinning a million miles per hour by my mom. Um, and he told me it was Last of Us. I'm like, okay, let me check how much it was. It was still like a little expensive, but I was like, you know what? I didn't mention I was going to get it. So I got it. 
So this 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 is definitely a next game I will be playing in this channel. I know everybody and their mamas decide to play it. I don't give a fuck. Th this game I haven't played, so it's like it, it's new to me. I'm ready for whatever bullshit I may be dealing with in this game. And obviously, because Zion since Zion had got me the PS4, it came with this crap. He did tell me to play it. I was like, no. It's a ripoff of Tomb Raider. I am not interested in playing a penis version of Tomb Raider. Yeah. But, you know, eventually down the line, I will play it and if I'm bored or whatever. So, double the fun for you guys. Double the fun. And, of course, well, t technically, triple the fun because of this. Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Which, I, that is the first thing in my agenda of playing. Um, once I'm in a better mood. Hopefully next week, I, I'm not in this emo um, situation that I am in right now. I, I've been doing nothing but crying all week. Um, so hopefully I'm a little better. Because like I said, I haven't touched my computer. I haven't played any games for a while. And, and especially even more so now, like, you would think I would, like, try to keep my mind, pr like, active by playing games, but it's not happening. So, there's that. So, since that is the situation, hold on, let me move this in the fucking middle, because what I'm about to do, I gotta show you guys something else. Um, and it's in regards to other games that I could be playing in this channel. Like, if I decide not to really play... PlayStation 4, which I'm going to be attached to PS4 for a while because of Street Fighter 5, with the up especially with the update that's coming soon. Um, even though I could play it on PC too, I, I found I, I was told the reason why it's not working on P my PC. Um, it was because of VSync. I had VSync on. I got to figure out how to take that off. I, I'm not a computer. I'm not 100% a computer tech person when it comes to things like that. So I'll, I'll figure it out. So, there's another thing I wanted to show you guys. And it's my PC, uh... Oh, shit, what am I doing? It's, um... My Steam library. So, let's see, where where are we? Okay, there's my Steam library. I'm gonna sh have you guys pause. And figure out what games I have there. And if I did play it, I, you know, I'll... Yeah... I have like 190. Oh, I'll show you guys right now. Hold on. Hold up. I have 193 games, guys, in this list, and I like I only played like night like about 25% of these games. So oh, hold on. I, I took out Steam. Hold on. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. Anyways, um. So here here's the list. You could pause. I, I'm I'm gonna go really fast. So the next game is Dungeon Defenders. Where are you? Pause again, guys. Oh, I'm definitely not playing Dying Light. That game was broken for me. I, some dumb reason. I don't know if it was the game having an issue the day one, at the time, but I don't want to play that game. I, I hate that game with a passion. Um. So just pause. Figure what games you want me to play. I definitely don't want to um, play Freedom Planet on the channel again. Except this time, do commentary. I don't remember much of the game, though. I remember it was like, you know, what Sonic 4 should have been. But it didn't happen. So, yeah, pause. Okay, the next game was Revengeance. Let's go down. Okay. So there's that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, I keep forgetting. I have Metal Gear Solid Five on the PS4, but I don't want to play. It. Like, I know I mentioned I was gonna play it in this channel, but I kind of don't want to play it anymore because I got spoiled with the game. Er, er, like, I'm on Facebook and I'll get like fucking spoilers while people's putting spoiler alert and stuff, and it's like I don't want to play it anymore. You know. I will play it by myself, but it's like, I don't want to play it now, you know? Maybe eventually down the line I will play it again on this channel, but 
let's see what happens so plus now we're gonna scroll down to when we're in the last Skullgirls oh we're at the end of the list um, so yeah some of these games make a list of the games in the comments below okay guys make a list of the games that I have on this 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 list there you go make a list of the games that you just saw if I approve of it then obviously congratulations I will play the game most likely because most of these games like I said I did not play and if whatever you pick and I decide to tell you no then you know don't feel sorry don't don't feel bad you know it's something about the game you know either it doesn't appeal to me right now or I'm just not really in the mood for it so there's that so you can pause there you could check out the list or whatever I'm not playing uh, most of the fighting games except Street Fighter 5 that's in this list I am not gonna play I'm giving you guys a heads up because Skullgirls it's kinda weird I, I can't really play Skullgirls while I'm mashing buttons I, I'm gonna let you guys know I'm a masher I'm trying to like break that habit with Street Fighter 5 um I can't play Street Ultra Street Fighter 4 because I have no what the fuck I'm doing. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing with that game. Um, anything else? It's fair game. Oh, one thing I wanted to throw out, and I'm pretty. I hope you watch this video, Zion, because I'm calling your fucking black ass out. Where, where, where are you? Where are you? Let me look at the fucking camera. Okay. You see this game, guys? You see Ruby? You see this game that I highlighted just now, ladies and gentlemen. Zion's bitch ass told me to get this game that, oh, we are going to play this game together, like, don't worry. Are you sure, Zion? I'm not spending $14.99 on the game that, you know, is not 100%, like, stable. No, 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 don't worry, like, we are going to play this game, we are going to have a fun time, and we are going to Pick whatever fucking characters that wife we should whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Fine. Let me buy fucking Ruby. This this is before I even watched the show. And I got into the show. Which is the reason why I have the show intro in my intro. It was because of him. I was like, you know what? I, I didn't like Ruby at first because the way like everything was animated in the first season. Didn't appeal to me. I only watched like the first couple of episodes when it first came out. And it just didn't appeal to me. But after getting the hang of the way it looks and just pushing aside from everything else and all that. I got used to the show and I began to like it. And now it's like. I hate life with that show. I hate that show. With a passion. Killing waifus and shit. This past season. And a certain other waifu lost their arm. I'm not going to mention who. If, in case you didn't see the freaking thing. Which I don't get why you wouldn't at this point. But I'm not saying anything. I'm not going to point any spoilers. Because I'm not a dick like that. Anyways. So Zion's bitch ass told me that we were going to play Ruby. But guess what? What this little bastard is doing he's playing fucking smash he's playing fucking pokemon or not pokemon pokemon he's playing pokin he's playing street fighter 5 and he's playing killer instinct because he wants to get ready for evo yeah i give him that i give him playing one to get ready for evo because he's playing all those games in evo whenever evo starts i think that's like like july or whatever but still this bitch I keep telling him about playing games, doing the collabs that we said we were going to do. Never happened. So, calling your bitch ass out, Zion. Hope you're watching this fucking video, bitch. <laughs> oh, man, I love that kid. Anyways, so, there's that. So, let's get to the next list. Because we're going to go... Hold on. Where is it? Oops, not wrong one. We're going to my wish list, guys. 
So, we're going to scroll through my wish list. Oh, shit. Move this to the side. Yes, there you go. We're going to my wish list. We're going to figure out... So, okay. Heads up, guys. Hold up. Move this a little smaller. Heads up, guys. Giving you guys a huge heads up. Some of these games, I have no idea what the fuck they are. I just place it at the moment in my wish list. Do I know the majority of them? No. Some of them, obviously, like Sonic Lost World and Lightning Returns and Deadpool and all that. I know what the hell they are. The rest that you're about to see right now, most likely I have no idea why I place it there, but I place it there for a reason. But most likely I won't pick that game for the time being. So let's get through this wish list of 91 games, mind you. So pause at any time if I'm going too fast. Um, oh, and mind you, most of these games are visual novels. I'll say like maybe 75, 80% of these games are visual novels, if not free games. That, you know, I'm too late to even put that in my library. So yeah, like I said, most of these games, I don't know why I place it in my wish list. <coughs> Excuse me for a second, guys. Oh, that's another thing, guys. I've been drinking nothing but water. Obviously, it looks red because I put crystal light in it. I can't stand drinking plain water. Anyway, so let's continue on with the freaking wish list so that way you guys get more of a. Like I said, pause at any time if I'm going too fast. I'm trying to rush this video because I don't want it to be like an hour. Um. Continue on. Like I said, most of these games, I don't even know why the hell I have it here. The rest, uh, I'm, I'm like, okay, now I get it. Like, Soma. I don't remember if that's the frictional games where you're in the submarine. And some freaky shit is going on. I think that might be it. I think there's a reason why I have that game there. I just don't remember. It's like Mad Max. I think there's a reason why I have that game there. I can't remember why. This, I'm pretty sure there's a reason why I have it there. But good chance I won't play right now. Like most of these guys, like this, Guilty Gear. Like I place it there for a reason. Good chance I'm not going to play it. Because anime games versus games like Street Fighter Five, And like, I don't know what's really considered Street Fighter Five a 3D game. And Ultra Street Fighter, I think those are like considered 3D games. I don't know. But 3D games were completely different than anime games. Anime games, I don't know how to describe it. Um, oh, we're in the end. So, like, this game in particular, I, will, I wouldn't mind playing. You know what? As a matter of fact, we're moving you... There you go. So now he'll be the first in my list of purchasing. I mean, this doesn't go in a particular order, but, you know, it's more like, as a reminder, you got to get that game, you know? So, leaving myself a reminder to get Castle in the Darkness because that game was bomb. I'm not going to lie, back when I was too much of a Jew to really buy games, I, I downloaded that game. It was, like, the best thing ever. It was, like, me downloading uh, Freedom Planet, and it was like, oh wait, me downloading Free Freedom Planet. It was like the best day game ever, and eventually I bought the game. Um, did I regret download? Yeah, I do regret downloading it. You know, you never know what happens when you download games. You're, you know, you'll fuck yourself up in the ass. So yeah, there's there's the list of games, and um. All that other stuff. So, again, guys, seeing how I don't know what the situation is with my mom's going to happen later down the line. Um, I'll keep you guys posted via Twitter. The little fucking bird over here. The little P. 
piece of shit bird right here. Uh, follow me on Twitter because I'm more active there than I am with uh, Facebook. Um, and if you don't have Twitter, just make a Twitter, you know? It doesn't hurt to have a Twitter. I mean, everybody's using Twitter. At first, I didn't want to use Twitter. And all of a sudden, it's like, you know, it, it's so much simpler to, like, contact people th via Twitter than it is with Facebook. And it seems like people are more active on Twitter than people are in Facebook. So, and, you know, plus I have my DMs open on that. I mean, I have my, my messaging open on my Facebook page, but nobody goes there so it's like I have DMs open on on Twitter so as long as you're not sending me like fucking like dick pics or tit pics or vagina pics then we're good you know if you're gonna send me pictures of hentai then that's a different story I don't I don't know what the fuck you guys are into but you know it is what it is so I'm not gonna fucking judge so yeah, there, there's that, ladies and gentlemen. So follow me on Twitter if you want updates. Um, I, I'll try to keep the channel alive. Hopefully, mm, once Dead or Alive Extreme Three comes out, uh, comes to my house next couple of days. Um, like I said, seeing how I don't trust FedEx and FedEx hates my ass, it won't come until like late at night. So. Good chance I won't play that game until Tuesday when I'm home alone. Anyways, I hope, I mean, I don't want to say I hope I am because, you know, my mom, my whole mom situation. But let's see how I am feeling, okay, guys? Like, next week. Right now, right, this week is a more emotional week. Hopefully next week is not as emotional so I could be able to, like, get back into the groove and try to keep my mind active with doing other things. Like, playing or editing videos which I should be doing but I haven't done it because you know everything that's going on with, with wisdom teeth and with my mom and all these other things and yeah so follow Twitter um, and hopefully you guys will see content soon while you know huge channel updates I will try to keep you guys updated with on you know on this channel but like I said, more updates via Twitter. Um, I'll give you guys the link of the, of the Twitter down in the description. I always do it, but, you know, it is what it is. So just follow me on that. It'll be nice to have, you know, people uh, following my social websites or social media websites. Um, that's what it's there for. And, um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching this long channel update but I want it to be as as sincere as possible as I can with the whole situation that's going down with with with, with the whole situation that's going down in my life sorry like I said I have like a bajillion things going on in my head and I can't really think straight and yeah so till then guys I shall see you when I see you. And you guys have a good day. See ya.